Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. So today I'm going to do another hair tutorial and this includes um, washing, deep conditioning, and I'm going to do a little styling at the end. I bought a new curling island. So I decided that I was going to go back to the shampoo that I originally love and the conditioner also and these are man and tail these are so bomb the con the conditioner is so slippery it makes my hair nice and thick i'm not gonna read the back for y'all because if i read it it doesn't make you guys go out and buy it anyway but it's for, it says it's for thicker, healthier looking hair. And I think it, it it does that. And the shampoo um, it says it's for shiny. That's my mom. It says it's for shiny, manageable hair. And they do work awesome together. And I also picked up the... Originals hair moisturizer. This is my all-time favorite. These are all my staples. Like this is this is this is so bomb. I like that word bomb. I use it a lot. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair, deep condition, and I'm gonna do a little style at the end for you guys. All right, so let's get into it. All right, I'm going to go wet my hair and come back because obviously I'm not going to bring y'all in the kitchen where I wash my hair. I don't always do it in the shower, especially because I have a rinse in there. The shower is going to be all red and I'm not trying to clean that shit. So I'm going to run in the kitchen. All right, so I wet my hair and I have a little container with just water in there. And <gasps> this is what the shampoo looks like. I just did the first wash and I'm gonna shampoo it again. I usually shampoo it three times. Um, the first time, the first time it doesn't really um, lather pretty good, but the second and third time it usually does. And I tend to use less shampoo the second and third time. Alright, so I picked up the shampoo and conditioner at Target because my local Walmart only had the deep conditioner conditioner and I didn't want that because I wanted to use a different deep conditioner. Um, and I paid six bucks for each and they both hold 32 ounces. I'm just going to rinse this out and I will be right back. Wash number three, way less. And I'm just gonna use this.
I don't have that much buildup. I didn't need to wash it three times, but that's just what I do. Um, what did I do the last time? I I just washed, dip conditioned, and I flat ironed it. I didn't really use much products. I didn't have any edge control or nothing, so I don't. I didn't really need to wash it three times. Seriously. Alrighty. I'm gonna wash this out and I will be right back. Alright, so the shampooing is drying. Oh, again, seriously. Fuck. I have this towel around my neck um, just so my shirt doesn't get wet but I do use a microfiber towel which is better for your hair it doesn't pull your hair out um, yeah you can get it anywhere Marshalls Walmart Target I actually got this online I can't remember I've had it for years but I don't use this on my hair um, anyway moving on to the conditioner no not moving on to the conditioner because I have to deep conditioner first so this this deep conditioner I think it's awesome I'm not gonna explain what's in there or whatever but it's just awesome it works it all you need to know is that it works and how much did I pay for it I think it was like four bucks four dollars and change it says treatment for weak damaged hair with natural herbs olive oil and egg protein egg is always good for your hair I sometimes I do use the natural egg but it's a pain in the ass to get it out of my hair and I like this better so and I use a lot but it looks like this And I'm just going to use this white teeth comb just to comb it out a little bit before I cover it up. They say comb from tips to root, but I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. My hair is not going to break anyway. If you have natural hair, you comb from tips. And then you work your way up to roots I had I was natural I have a long hair story I was natural two years ago prior to that I had permed hair and I said let me try and go natural I liked it to the fact that I didn't like my fro anymore it was getting so out of control I'm gonna insert some pictures either here or here just so you guys can see where I'm coming from and I'm always doing different I'm always doing different stuff with my hair but the other day I was kind of regretting cutting my hair because I love to wear a bun and I can't put it in a bun I miss it I have a few things to do around the house so I'm just gonna put it under a steam cap and just go do my little house chores whatever you want to call it and I'll be back um, maybe half an hour doesn't matter how long you left it in there you can leave it in overnight it's up to you I don't know about overnight when you do 
castor oil you can leave it in for overnight Jamaican black castor oil yes I come from Jamaica Jamaican black castor oil but you gotta get the good one anyway my soon come back so I'm back I want to share a quick tip with you guys if you guys don't have a hooded dryer you can throw a wet towel in the microwave not wet as in soaking wet but you know obviously you gotta wring wring the water out but you can put a a towel in the microwave and just put it over your head just to speed up the process and just go do you all right guys so I'm back and I washed it out I washed out the deep conditioner so I'm gonna put the regular conditioner on there now and I'm just gonna leave it on for a few minutes and then just rinse it out <laughs> that didn't sound good but anyway it looks like this Alright guys, so I'm going to rinse it out and I am going to air dry for an hour. Alright guys, so I'm back. I'm going to flat iron it a little bit and then I'm going to use the new um, curling iron that I picked up today. But I'm going to give you some slow motion on this thickness because... This is everything. I'm just gonna speed this process up a little bit because I already have a video with me flat ironing my hair. Um, and I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm all flat ironed. And I forgot to show you guys that I put this um, heat protector on there. I'm just gonna style the front a little bit with my new little tool right here. Oh shit, I got the stove on. 